What's going on guys? It's your boy Sessier with a video here today because a brand new Photoshop tutorial how to create your very own cool perfect YouTube header. So if you if you're probably looking at this video because you probably don't have like the cleanest first impression YouTube banner, hopefully at the end of this video you got a you got a perfect shot to get the perfect first impression. You look good and you're showcasing everything you need to showcase in your YouTube banner. And uh, yeah, with that being said, we're gonna kind of just let it go. You guys enjoy the video. If you guys are not, if you guys are new and you guys are subscribe, not subscribed yet probably click the subscribe button please like why not um i have a lot of cool videos on like stream stuff and stuff like that or creator stuff so we can have that connection with that being said if you guys like the video leave a like on the video but i love you guys enjoy the video all right so let's finally this thing started right here so i'm actually going to take a picture of myself like i have right here i already have it actually cut out i want to really quickly show you guys how you can cut things out pretty quick now this only works if you have a nice simple like a really high quality photo and hopefully like you're at least in focus i think mostly i say 80 percent of the time it will work if it's your if you're in focus so if you press W on your keyboard, right, this will bring up the object and selection tool. With this uh, uh, object and selection tool selected, you can actually go where it says select subject on the top. If you press select subject, it will actually select the actual subject. Hopefully what's in focus, that's what the subject is. Whatever's in focus, it will highlight and make a nice little marquee selection. You see those dotted lines? That is saying, hey, we're gonna cut this out. Once you have that, you won't have this box by the way. But once you guys have that selection, if you go to this box right here, you press on it, that is your layer mask. It'll cut it out and hopefully cut it out pretty good for you guys to actually have a nice simple uh, simple starting point. But you don't have to use a pen tool because sometimes I know, a lot of, I know a lot of you guys are like this, right? You're like, that's gonna give you too many edges. At least give this a shot first and then hope for the best. Um, I'm gonna delete that though, right? But if you do use a brush, you'll notice, right? If I kind of click off this for a second, you see I have white and purple right now as my background colors. So you know, no matter what colors you have, but when you click on this layer mask, this will all make a change of colors to black and white, no matter what, right? Black will erase, if I just show you guys really quick, right? If I just click on it, it'll start erasing, right? If I switch my colors by pressing X on my keyboard, by the way, really quick, right? White will actually fill in. So if for whatever reason, like they messed up your shoulder when you cut it out, right? You can just take your, your, your white eraser, kind of fill that back in, right? Then you want to go back around be like, yo, I got to fix this just like so. And just kind of hopefully your hand is steady enough where you can at least get it somewhat close like so. Right, and then you can then have that there. So I know this is not a you know, video on how to cut things out, but I wanna show you guys just in case you didn't know. So have a picture. I'm gonna take this picture, drag it below my banner layout because of course that's where you wanna put everything. The banner layout, it will, no matter what, you won't see the subscribe button. They won't see this little icon here either. So don't worry, you're not, not, you're not advertising me, but this template will also be in the description down below for you guys to actually download. Within this template is also control H. If you press control H on your keyboard, it will hide and unhide your rulers. This rectangle right here you see, this first sort of like uh, ruler, is basically the mobile view. So if someone's looking at their mobile device, they're gonna say, yo, I can only see this right here. So all the information you wanna make sure at least fits in this box right here. That way you're not missing out on information or people are not getting, you know, seeing it right. Um, because honestly, it does look a little bit unprofessional if you're like looking at a banner design and all of a sudden your half is, your face is cut off, some text is cut off, right? You don't want that. So. Just want you guys to let them know. But the background that I'm also using is a dark blue. This dark blue is this hex tone right here. So if you were to copy these numbers that I see right here, you'll get the same exact blue as my background. But these are my brand colors and choose your own. But let's just say if you like blue, cool. If you like green, right, you can just take this and move it down to the green area. If I fill this in really quick, you can see you'll get a darker green. You can start off with that for a nice first color. But right now I'm good. I'm gonna take my logo. I'm gonna drag it right below my picture, right? I'm gonna take a copy of it, I mean. Nice big logo, just like so. I'll put on a nice little angle as well because realistically, I don't really care about how the logo looks. I just want it to fill some space, <laughs> just like so. Now, another thing about filling space, really, really quick. I know a lot of you guys really like to say, "Yo, my outfit was like pretty fire, bro. Like I would love it if I can just do this." Cool. They can see your entire outfit, but it looks kind of cheap. I'm not gonna lie. The uh, the idea behind this sort of reason why it looks cheap is because it's not filling as much space as you would want it to fill, right? So it's also like no, don't do this, right? If you, have a nice, if you have a nice picture, make it as big as you possibly can. I would say from your head here to your chest here is a pretty solid spot to go for. Because realistically, like I said before, this is not filling space. This is going to set yourself up for almost a bit of, I wouldn't say failure, but it could be better is what I'm trying to say here. So you can see here, if I just take my logo or my person here, you can see the idea of it's commanding more space looking. It's it's you like just love yourself, bro. you got this. Um, So just like so, I'm going to take this logo, like I said before. We're gonna make this pink. So this pink I'm gonna use is right here. Now this should be whatever second of the color you should choose. So if you like blue, you can use blue, right? You can use the same blue background as I have, but you just change your you know logo or your text to blue. I was saying before as well, if you don't have a logo, this is where you wanna take your text, right? Make the word sesso, right? Take whatever color you wanna use, right? Make it really, really big with a cool font. Put it on a nice little corner or, or excuse me, a diagonal line. Put it right behind you. 
make it bigger as you need, right? And this is the same exact idea and the same premise as what I was saying before. If you don't have a logo, you can use your own text. It doesn't really matter what it is, right? It just matters if it just if it looks cool, right? In this case. So just like so, I'm gonna take my logo copy once again, put it on the left hand side. Perfect. Now I'm gonna actually do as well is I'm gonna type in the word Seso HQ, right? I'm gonna change this font to where it says Akira, make this white as well. Now I'm gonna press Control H to show my rulers again. Press Control T to free transform my text layer, right? Then I'm gonna hold Alt, click this right here and make it bigger just like so. Once again, don't forget, don't wanna go past this line here, so we're not gonna go past it, right? We're also gonna give enough room with this right here. So realistically, if this was your text, you wanna make sure you of course have enough room to it because I'm not gonna make it super big like this, right? Where it's like hover over everything. You don't want you don't want that to really happen. You're really interfering with the actual like way you're looking at things. So make it nice and small, but also make sure it's not big enough uh, or make sure it's also big enough, but also not big enough that it goes over this line here. So with this, I'll hold Alt and Shift, click on my text layer, drag that'll make a duplicate for me and i can just type in whatever i want to type in here so sesohq.com selfie.com sesohq all these sites you probably visit you know i also take this and also make this a nice simple uh different secondary font so i'm gonna use a rame as a nice secondary font this first one was akira uh, if i haven't said that already right then this is where you can leave to lock this up on the bottom right here on the left hand side and the right hand side i think it's pretty freaking clean if you don't want to have it on the bottom you can also have it on the top as well Right, it looks also pretty cool, but I would also like to use a logo and put this right in the middle for me because that's what I want to have. Like if you have another cool logo, if you work for like an organization or just like you just, I don't know, anything, but I just want to put it there because you also put it, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to do it and I want to try to do something different this time, but make this a little bit further down. Right, you can see how cool that looks just like so. Then I can also take this and use the word graphic designer. Now, if you don't have this characters table, it's under window character by the way then you can bring this up and this va if you hold shift and your mouse scroll right i'm going to scroll this up right you can see it actually splits the letters um in the space in between so i can get this really cool like movie poster look we're gonna have this right in the bottom here i think it looks pretty freaking cool right so you have sesso hq all this is in the same font this is in a different font because of course you want your main name to be the most biggest thing the most sort of broad thing that the, the thing that sticks out and they want everything else to kind of be secondary right um, so this looks pretty good there just like so now to go ahead and do is i'm gonna take this SOHQ over here make a copy of this with the hold alt and drag it over right i'm gonna say new videos you know and then every sunday just like this make this a little bit bigger so i'm gonna take the new videos Control t take this move this over so that way it hits the end here hits the end here so it's nice and stacked well right then i'll take this make it a little bit bigger again and i'm gonna go ahead and say perfect i'm gonna make the word sunday highlighted per, uh, pink so it of course kind of stands out or whatever color you end up choosing for your background color over here right then i'll take the word designer and add pink as well so you can already notice that i'm getting a lot more color and i'm really flowing that color scheme around the entire banner because of course just the simple text and almost like i'm using texture as text or text as texture excuse me so even though this nonsense right here i can have in the social links in the bottom right of my banner design sometimes having something also helps as well also so you know if you don't want to you know if you want to put your 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 social medias in there even though i said not to in the beginning if you do want to put your social medias in there Go for it. I mean, honestly, go for it and just use it as like texture, like how I have it locked up here. But don't really try to highlight it because realistically, like I said before, no one's gonna really care. They won't really, click, uh, they only really want to click on what's on the bottom right. So with that being said, we are almost done because now with this new layer right above our background layer, I'm gonna change my foreground color here. I'm gonna click on the background layer really quickly to just get the color. Then I'm gonna take this circle here, move this up a little bit, just like so. I'll get a lighter color. I'll press OK. Then with a nice soft brush, which means zero hardness, right? This default brush. If you want to hold alt, you can move it left and right when you right click to make it bigger and smaller, by the way, to get this little effect here, right? Then I can just click, click below here. Now it's, I clicked a little bit too much. I can use the eraser now. Same thing, zero hardness. Take the eraser, click a few times like so, right? Just to make it a little more subtle and just like so, you get yourself a nice looking banner. So with that being said, to save this, it's under file, export save for web and you want to save it as a png24 and when you guys upload it it'll look good you'll look good and your whole channel will look good and hopefully that's it if you want to add more things after this be my absolute guest but i just want to give you guys a nice bare bones basic idea to get a really clean like i said before first impression someone looks at your channel and goes this guy or this girl you know you look good i want to subscribe now you got information here every sunday i can look forward to your new videos right so 
this is the perfect YouTube header. I hope you guys enjoy it. I love you guys. And uh, with that being said, so HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking better, guys. Later. Much love. And let me know in the comments below if you guys used the tutorial and you made your channel art. You want to look at it? Let me know when you did it and you put it up. I'll give you guys some opinions on it just in case you just want to mess around with me and I can help you guys out. But yeah, with that being said, I love you guys. Peace.